Hello, this is Tommy T with Elegant SMP, and today we are going to talk about why do some SMP treatments look fake or botched up. I've had SMP for maybe five and a half years now, and for the last two years I've been a practitioner. So when I am in public and I catch my bald brothers and they look like they have their head shaved, you know, I am usually very mindful to see if they have SMP or not. And uh, I've caught quite a few people with SMP and it looks totally painted and it looks totally fake and some of them do look like they can get it um, lasered off and get retreated again because it looks painted on. Anyways, let's get into it. Uh, number one is uh, going too dark with the pigment or an ink shade. Um, some artists, they may go a little bit too dark for the client's complexion and that can give it a stark contrast and this happens because uh, individuals with lighter skin tones are more prone to this issue as the dark ink creates this exaggerated contrast and another reason is that is the initial misjudgment of the artist sometimes they underestimate how the pigment will settle into the skin after the healing so the solution to this at elegant smp we highly advocate for starting conservatively with a lighter shade and making those adjustments that's needed in future sessions based on how the skin heals number two impressions might look a little bit too big i've had clients that has come to me from other clinics where the impression size looked too large and it just looks fake, honestly. And issues with this is that it looks uneven. Oversized impressions can appear as larger dots among smaller natural hair follicles. And sometimes uh, artists do this in order to reduce the procedure time. The larger the impression size, the less dots you have to put on the head. The solution for this is every practitioner should aim to match the size of the impressions closely to the natural hair follicles to maintain that uniform look. Number three, inconsistent ink deposit. Now, for anyone starting out into um, this industry as an SMP artist, this is one of the probably more difficult things to master, is just making sure that each and every impressions that you put down on the scalp has the same amount of ink deposit. So it looks uniform. Uh, around the hairline and also the temple, there are some creativity and room to play with that where you can make it a little bit uneven to create that natural look. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, you want it to look consistent. And the causes of these inconsistency is just the skill level. You know, new artists often lack the expertise in order to maintain the consistent deposit. And number two is uh, different parts of the scalp might be a little bit tough or softer than, than another. So that's going to affect the ink deposit and that just requires the artist to just change their technique a little bit hold the needle in a little bit more not so much going deeper because that can cause blowout you just want to hold it in a little bit more especially if the texture is a little bit rough in order to even everything out so the solution to this is just the artist should be trained to adjust their technique accordingly to the scalp's texture and this is going to ensure a consistent finish throughout Number four, inconsistent density. Achieving the right density is an intricate part of an SMP treatment. It requires sharp attention to details, especially when an artist is sitting there for hours on end, multiple sessions, filling out thousands of tiny impressions consistently across the scalp. It's gonna take a certain mastery of the craft in order to do that. Now, why does density matter? Number one is visual realism. The density of the impression determines how natural the final result will look and also errors in spacing. Mistakes in spacing can lead to visible gaps or overly dense areas. So the solution to this is extensive training and practice are required to master the skill. Experienced artists focus on filling even the smallest gaps consistently. Number five, going too deep or too superficial. Finding the sweet spot for ink deposit is crucial. The pigment must sit below the epidermis and it has to be in the upper part of the dermis for the best results. Risk of incorrect depth, if it's too deep, it leads to blowout where the ink spreads underneath the skin, creating this blurred and unnatural impression. If you go too superficial, it leads to faded or blurred impressions that do not hold well over time. The solution for this is experience practitioners understand the depth needed for optimal pigment placement and adjust their technique 
accordingly. Number six, inexperienced SMP artists. There's an influx of people coming into this industry, taking these one to four day crash course that promises them this um, quick certification and potential for high earnings. A lot of people want to get into this because they were sold a dream. So the problems with this is uh, inadequate skill development. Short training periods are often not enough to master the complex techniques required and also overconfidence. New artists might think that they are fully prepared when they are not. The solution to this is research and choose your artists who have undergone comprehensive training and have ample enough hands-on experience. Number seven, the SMP artist or practitioner is out of practice. Even seasoned artists can cause problems if they haven't been practicing regularly. Lack of consistent work can result in diminished hand-eye coordination and muscle memory, leading to subpar results. The causes of this is slow seasons. Clinics may experience periods of low customer and volume, and the reason for that is probably you know just their marketing or whatnot but that doesn't mean they should stop practicing so the solution for this is regular practice is essential to maintain high quality results it's important for artists to continue honing their skills consistently even during slow periods we recommend practicing every day on fake skin in order to stay ready for any clients that may walk in. And number eight is outdated techniques. The SMP industry is relatively new with uh, ongoing advancements in techniques, equipment, and materials. However, some practitioners have been slow to adopt these advancements. The risk of outdated techniques, old equipment. Outdated tools can compromise the quality of the SMP treatment. Non-specific ink, using non-industry specific ink can lead to poor results. And stagnant learning. Some artists may stick to old methods and refuse to update their skill set. The solution to this is choose a practitioner who stays updated with industry developments and use the latest techniques and equipment. So to conclude, getting an SMP treatment can be a game changer for people that are facing hair loss, but only when it's done right. The key to a natural undetectable result lies in selecting the right practitioner, one who is experienced, up to date with the latest techniques, and committed to ongoing practice. So we're just gonna give you a few tips here. Number one, research thoroughly the artist or clinic that you are thinking about choosing. Number two, make sure that they have high quality photos that you can zoom in and see the impressions, um, the granular details. Number three, ensure that the artists are using updated equipment and techniques, ask them. Number four, check for consistency in their most recent work. All right, and that is pretty much this video recording, or audio recording. If you're considering on getting SMP, it's crucial to trust only the skilled hands of qualified professional. Make sure you reach out to us for a non-committal consultation to discuss your needs and expectations. You can download our brochure over at our website, elegantsmp.com, to see for pricing and to get a little bit more details. And if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. So until next time, may you delve into the depths of secrecy with wisdom and peace out.